on Strike It Lucky tonight, a jackpot of £5,000. Fly to the roof of the world, a trip on Concord. Impress your friends with a set of fine porcelain china. Or witness the splendours of nature, visit New England in the fall. All these prizes we won tonight on Strike It Lucky. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore! Hi, it's Hiya. Jim, is it? It is. Well, whereabouts are you from, Jim? I'm from Ashington in Northumberland. Northumberland and uh, 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 is Barbara? Yeah, Blythe, Northumberland. Yes, and uh, you married? No. Nope. Not to each other. <laughs> anyway, you're friends, are you? We are indeed. Yeah. Nice to see you. And uh, you've got the uniforms on. Can you tell us what they are? We are both uh, ambulance paramedics in Northumbria. Paramedics, you, you treat trauma, don't you? Yes. We so do. You yeah. try to get there before anything happens. Now, if a doctor arrives uh, and you're on the scene, will he actually take over? Um, more often than not, no. no? Um, he let us take over. And if, uh, nowadays, if things like, uh, if somebody unfortunately loses something, uh, if you get there in time, you can put it back on, can't you? Yes, we can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can. Now, have you got anything funny happen to you uh, when you've been, or in your own uh, life? Can you tell us, Jim? Yeah, we got a call to a collapse in a, a house in Ashington. And I, when I looked through the blinds, I could see a woman in just a, a basque. Um, nothing else. Basque. Basque. <laughs> what the bleep knows a basque? <laughs> what's a basque? What's a basque? A Basque. Bob will tell you. What's a Basque? A Basque. Basque. So it's an all-in-one undergarment worn by ladies. Oh, is this a, do, do the ladies know what a Basque is? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, you saw the Basque. Yeah. yeah. And I thought, well, it's strange if there's somebody collapsed in the house, why should she be parading around like that? Mm -hmm. Again, we were keep knocking on the window trying to get somebody's attention. And uh, <coughs> next thing we knew, a police car came round the corner and they'd actually rang 999 like there was a peeping Tom at the window. Oh, <laughs> <was> it? <laughs> and we were at the wrong address. Yeah, did you, did you, did you, oh, you were at the wrong, wrong address? address yeah. <laughs> What a wonderful night for that lady. <laughs> anyway, nice to meet you, Jim. No a problem. lovely story. Nice to meet you, Barbara. All the best with us. Thank you. Thanks, Julian, hi, yes, Jim. Hello. hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. And nice this is you. Louise. Yeah. yeah. She's my wife. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> She's my wife. <laughs> She's your wife? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're foreign, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, so where, where, where do you come from? From Romania. Romania? Yeah. And uh, how, how long have you been here, Julian? Uh, eight months. Eight months, yeah. 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 So I think. <laughs> there you go. All right, now how long have you been married, you two? A uh, year. Yeah? yeah. And, and you met him in Romania? I did, yeah. And uh, so what, what happened? Uh, how did you meet? Um, I went out with a local charity to do voluntary work um, in well, an orphanage. When the crisis was on and yeah. all that. Yeah. And Julian was a teacher in the orphanage. Yeah? So uh, how what was that? What do you teach? Oh, anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. Well, nice to meet you and have nice a lovely evening you. with us. Thank Thank you. And the wind. Thank you. Where have you two been? <laughs> Where have you two girls been? Yeah, We've been yeah. waiting for you. I'm here. How are you? What's Moo? No, Mew. Mew. Yeah. What's that short for? Mew. Muriel. It's that time you've said that, the mood's passed. Mew. Yeah. Yes, and your Vi. Yeah, don't do that, Vi. <laughs> <laughs> now, where, where are you two from? Manchester. Ettles and Salford. All around the Manchester area. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, do you mind me asking your, your ages? Is that rude of me or...? 92. You're 92, are you? <laughs> nice to meet you, Adam. And, uh, uh, 72. 72. Uh -huh. All right, nice to see you. And, and uh, now, what, 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 where did you meet the two of you? Your friends? Who's going to speak, me or them? You can, you can speak when you like, love. It's well, that sort of show. Don't give me monkeys about the show. She came to live important. in the same flats as I was. You are, love? Live. She came to live in the same flats as I was living in. Yeah. And, uh, a neighbour to start with. Um, yeah. No, yeah. What, 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 two, just good friends, are you? Definitely. Yeah. And were you, are you both married or...? No. Divorced twice. You've been divorced twice, yeah. yeah. Engaged twice. Engaged twice. <laughs> I've had sense enough not to get married. Did you never get married? No. <laughs> no, you didn't get involved? No. Fine. And uh, what, 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 what sort of jobs do you do? Dressmaker. Dressmaker. I do volunteer work for the Heart Foundation. Oh, you do all that sort of stuff mm. now, do you? Mm. That's great. And, and any uh, hobbies at all? Mm. 
Yes, I paint. Yeah, and what about you, Mia? What's it? I like Speedway and Ballroom. Speedway? Give a nice round of applause. Let's welcome him. I think we'd better get on the game, Adam. The only thing is to get from one side to the other. First couple get across, gets a chance to go and say, Jackpot, you all know the rules, you all know the idea. You toss the coin earlier to decide who's going first, so if your partners would like to go to the places, we can start. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Let's welcome to the show. There we go. Good luck. Good luck, Julian. I'll take you over, Mike. Have a seat. Have a seat here. There we are, yeah? You settled? I'll be back in a second. Let's get on with the show. Here we go. Good luck, good luck, good luck. All right, OK, the first one across gets a chance to go on to our jackpot. Let's play the game. Here we go. The first category for you, Jim, is jack words. Two, three or four? Two, please. Two. For your first uh, question, which word describes the following? An articulated lorry sometimes does this. Jackknife. Uh, it's a type of wild dog. Jackal. That's right, two moves yours, we're off. Here we go. Oh, all right. Right, Barbara. Okay, just coming in a little bit more. That's it. Strike the screen. Let's see what you got in your first prize. Two hundred pounds. Good start. You're bank it? Or is there something on the next screen? You're gonna bank it or go for the next one? Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Yes? Yeah, come all forward. Right, it's up to you. Watch for those hot spots. Porcelain dinner, sir. Yeah, Regard to the uh, next category, which is people of 92. For you, Louise, people of 92. Two, three or four? Two, please. For your first move, in 1992, he became the last governor of Hong Kong. Take a guess if you're not sure. Mm. Chris Patton. Chris Patton's a good guess. And in 1992, he won a gold medal in Barcelona. Linford Christie. Linford Christie, two moves yours. OK. For many hours you'll do this. <laughs> a canteen of cutlery. You want to bank it or risk something on the next screen? Oh, God. Well, <laughs> entirely up to you. It's your game. You play it how you want. A dinner service and a canteen of cutlery. That's yours. <laughs> right, we go on to the next category, which is joint TV host. Joint TV host. Muriel, two, three or four? I have a go at two. Two. For your first move, which pair of hosts have at one time or another presented the following programmes? Eamon Andrews and Michael Aspel. Which programme? Um, this is your life. That's right. And Les Dawson and Terry Wogan. Blankety blank. Two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> easy, go. Easy, easy, easy. Blimey, off on a gallop there, love. That's it. Just come round here. <laughs> a CD player. <laughs> Do you want to bank it? Come on, Vi. You going on? Move on. Oh. Okay, on, Vi. All yeah. right, up you come, girl. That's it. There you go. Strike the screen. You've got the CD player. The gold earrings and the CD player. They're yours. All right. <laughs> OK. Next category. For you, Jim, what they say. Two or three or four? Two, please. For your first move, who would you expect to say the following phrases on television? Who lives in a house like this? That's uh, Lloyd Grossman. That's right. And Queen's, here's your starter for ten. <laughs> um, <laughs> <move on. laughs> That's uh, <laughs> Bamba Gascoigne. Bamba Gascoigne, right two moves of yours. OK. <laughs> Barbara, strike the screen. Let's see what you've got. A new hairstyle. It's all right, thanks. Not interested? I'm happy with what I've got, thank you. OK. For some margin. I had hair when I started this series. <laughs> Off you go. Let's see what you got. Oh! You've lost the hairdo, but never mind. You're one move in front. We go on to the next category, which is late 
greats of 1992. For you, Louise, two and three or four? Two, please. For your first move, he was the voice of show jumping. Take a guess again, Louise, if you're not sure. Raymond Brooks Ward. Good guesser, aren't you? <laughs> yes. And he was best known for the film Psycho. He was best known for the film Psycho. Anthony Perkins. Two moves are yours. OK, well done. <laughs> What did you say, Julian? No, I said, can I push? <laughs> can you push? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't. <laughs> You've done it, haven't you? Oh. There we go. <laughs> push too hard, didn't you, Julian? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we go on to the next category, which is nostalgia for you, Muriel. Nostalgia. Uh, two. I'll have a go at two. Two. All right, then. Yeah. Whose Christian names were Norma Jean? Whose Christian Marilyn name? Monroe. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe's right. This lady made a big splash swimming her way Esther through movies. Williams. Esther Williams is right. Two moves are yours. <laughs> Come on, boy. You OK? There we are. Yes. You all right, my love? Yes, thank you. Let's strike the screen. A camera. Does she want it? She said, do you want it? Did you want the camera? Too she, bad. Eh? Too bad. Well, we'll get one for you and stuff her. She... <laughs> <laughs> she wanted that camera, Moo. Well, she's got it. Eh? She got it. Yes, good. only out of the generosity of this of marvellous you. company we work for. I always have what she wants. All right, now, the next category is uh, composers for you, Jim. Two, three or four? I better have two, thank you. Right, two. What are the surnames of the following composers? Richard? Uh, Wagner. Wagner is right. Wolfgang Amadeus? Mozart. That's right, two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> really proud. OK. Gold necklace, you want to bank it? You're risking there's nothing on the next screen. What are you going to do? Forward. Good one. Going on. All right, strike the screen, Barbara. Ooh. You lose that as well. I think that should be most of them out of the way, but you never know with this game. All right, the next category is American cities for you, Louise. Two, three or four? Two, please. For your first move. Which American city is predominantly famous for its gambling casinos and a fabulous Caesars Palace Hotel? Las Vegas. Um, which American city is famous for French food and jazz? New Orleans. Two moves. There you are. OK. <laughs> Quite a hard fought game at the moment. Okay, strike the screen. 150 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Moving over, Julian. Yes. <laughs> Horse trekking weekend and 150 pounds. Okay. All right, we go on to the next category, which is for you, Muriel, is uh, personal instruments. I'll probably blow it, but I'll go. You'll probably blow three. it. Touche. <laughs> 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 I'd just like to leave a little pause there while we get over that one. With which instrument do you predominantly associate the following? Yeah. Julian Bream. I knew I'd blow it. I haven't a clue. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Well, there's, there's six Sorry. answers. Just take a guess. Give me the name again, please. Yeah, uh, Julian Bream. What does he play? Well, it's one out of six, isn't it? It's, yes, um, yes. <laughs> one of them. Flute. Is wrong, wrong, I'm afraid, Muriel. Sorry about that. I can't give it to you. Jim, do you know what it is? Guitar. Guitar is right. And for the second one, it's Arthur Rubinstein. What is Arthur Rubinstein? What's Piano. It? Placido Domingo. Voice. That's right. The three moves are yours. OK. <laughs> OK, strike the screen. A weekend in Paris. Do you want to bang that? This is the middle of the screen. OK. Oh. Oh, all right, OK, it's up to you. <laughs> I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> a Concorde trip! <laughs> All right. OK, the situation we have now, you've got the weekend in Paris on offer, a trip on Concorde. You've got to decide whether you want to bank those or answer the men's strike it lucky question. We're going to find out what they're going to do in a couple of minutes' time. We'll see you after the break. See you then. Bye. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Welcome back to part two of Strike It Lucky. Now, the situation we've got is Vi is just coming up to the halfway mark. All right, Vi? 
Yes. Okay, love. And Julian's just over the halfway mark, and we've got Barbara and Jim here on the main Strike It Lucky uh, question. Let's take you through to the jackpot if you answer it. But you've got the Concord trip on offer and the weekend in Paris. What do you want to do? Do you want to bank them to make sure you're safe or take a chance? <laughs> They've got to bank it. Okay, I think that's very wise. Well and we carry on. And it's back with you, Louise. Two, three, or two or three. You've got left two or three, and the category is Russia. Two, please. Two. For your first move, this is a type of horse-drawn vehicle. Copic. Huh? Copic. Copic is wrong, I'm afraid, love. Mew? I'll go for Parsec. What? Huh? Parsec. Parsec is wrong. wrong, I'm afraid. And, Jim, I don't need to ask you the question because you're already on the end monitor. So we come straight back here and I'm going to ask you the main... Strike it, lucky question. Chance now to go on to the jackpot, OK? Right, here we are. I'll read the question out. You can confer as loud as you like, and then I must have an answer, right? No help, please, if it's possible. Right, you'd really strike it lucky if you were a hit in a situation comedy. What was the name of the series that starred Richard Wilson as the irascible Victor Meldrew? One Foot in the Grave. One Foot in the Grave is right. You're right, that's the Come on, up. Back this one. We go down this way. The safety down there. There you go, girl. That's it. Oh, there you go. Oops. Take your time. Not all the time. Right up. Yeah, you come up here now. There we go. That's it. Up you go. There you go. They'll help you around. All right, well done. OK, well, that's uh, that part of the game all concluded. A very good game right up to the end there, but unfortunately, uh, there's a couple of quarters out there, weren't there, Louise? All right, well, let's tell you what you've got to take away with you. Now, Muriel and Vi, you've got a CD player and gold earrings. Oh, they haven't put on the list the camera. What can we give her? Yeah, she can have the camera. <laughs> Have a nice night with us. Great. Thank Lovely, you. and thank yeah. you for being smashing thank contestants. You. Well done, bye. Enjoy your camera, and don't take any pictures of her, because she didn't want it. <laughs> I know that. All I right. know it. OK, and Julian... <laughs> Julian and Louise, you, you've won a canteen, a cutlery, a dinner service... Hello. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Julian, I want to read it out. <laughs> yeah. Yes, OK. Well, Wayne is going to do it. Yeah. OK, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Horse trekking weekend. Trekking weekend. Thank yeah. you very much. It's very nice right. of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. OK, well done. And well done, Louise. Good enough. Good enough. All the best. Well done. And Jim and Barbara, you've already won the horse lane dinner service, the trip to Paris, the Concord trip as well. £200 you've already won. A chance now to win that £5,000 jackpot. Let's give them a nice round of applause, all of them. And we'll play the game. Just like stand there, just there, and there. Just face me slightly, that's lovely. All right, OK, now the prizes you won already, they're safe. Here's how you play the end game. You play the game as you did before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make. You chat out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screens there now, you can see we've got ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If a question comes up, it'll be true or false. You give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hotspot. For a correct answer, you gain another move. You go for our top money tonight of £5,000, you cannot hit any more than two hotspots. £4,000, no more than three, and three, no more than four. If you go for our top money and you fail to get right away across, we'll give you £500 for every successful move you make. That's uh, the decision you've got to make. All we've got to do is jumble them all up. <laughs> That's it, they've gone. OK, 3,000, 4,000 or 5,000. What do you think they should do? <laughs> That's what you want to do. <laughs> going for it? <laughs> They're going for the 5,000. That's it, Barbara. Barbara, you like to stand down here? Well done. Good luck. All right. OK, just come in slightly, Jim. Uh, it's a little bit more. OK, for your first £500, is it the top, the middle or the bottom? Where do you want to go? <laughs> Where do you want to go? Bottom. 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 The bottom. The bottom one for the first 500 Yes! That's it, we're on the way. OK, well done. Top, middle or bottom for £1,000? <laughs> £1,000. Top. We want to go up the top for the 1000 Ooh, it's a question. You get this right, you've got £1,000, OK? All right. Old Mother Riley was the stage character invented by Laurence Olivier. Is that true or false? I think so. 
pounds. That's right, a thousand pounds. Well done. Over you come. There they are. For fifteen hundred pounds, top, middle, or bottom. Where do you want to go? Here we go. Middle. They want to go in the middle for fifteen hundred pounds. Ooh. Eros is. The legendary god of hatred, is that true or false? No, false. 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 False, the god of love, that's 1,500 pounds. <laughs> OK, over here, come. <laughs> For 2,000 pounds, is it top, middle or bottom? <laughs> 2, <000. laughs> okay. top, top. Up the top for 2,000. <laughs> Actress Joan Plowright was married to Lord Olivier. True. That's right. Yeah. 2,000 pounds. Okay. You've used no hotspots whatsoever. Well done. Okay, for two thousand five hundred pounds, is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? For two thousand five hundred, I want to go on the bottom. Yes. Well done. That's it. Over you come. Philip, well done. We're on the halfway mark. You've used no hotspots whatsoever. For three thousand pounds, is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? Where do you want to go? Middle. 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 In the middle for 3,000. Come on. Oh. One hotspot gone. One more I'll allow you. 2,500 you've still got. Now, for 3,000 pounds again, is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? Yeah. Top. 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 Hey, top. 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 It's a question. OK. Singer Mary Hopkins had a hit record with Those Were The Days. Is that true or false? True. £3,000, well done! <laughs> OK. Three screens to go. One hotspot more will allow you, OK? For £3,500, is it the top, the middle or the bottom? For three... <laughs> top! Hey, top! You want to go up there again? Up the top again for three five. Yes! Well done! OK, now this is the situation we got. You've already got £3,500. You've already got all those prizes. You allowed one more hotspot, so you don't need to go to the end bank if you do it here. This is where you can hit the jackpot without even going to the end, all right? The very best of luck. We'll take a huge jump now from 3-5 up to the jackpot. It's either the top, it's either the middle or the bottom, and if you're going to get a question, you've got to get it right. Top, middle or bottom for the jackpot! <laughs> top, middle or bottom? Bottom. 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 The bottom for the jackpot, come on! Oh. No! No! <laughs> this is it. You've got one more chance. You've got three five. I won't go through all that again. It's the last bank, it's over the top. It's over the middle or the bottom for five thousand pounds. Top, middle or bottom, where do you want to go? Middle. The middle one for the jackpot, please! Oh, I don't believe it. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Come on. Oh, unbelievable. Come in. Oh, well done. Thank you. You're smashing. Oh, just wait a second. OK, let's have a look at the monitors. Let's see where they were. Oh, you need to go up the top. Oh, yes. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, never mind. OK, yeah. that, well, that was a close run thing. And let's tell you what you've got to take away with you tonight. You've won a porcelain dinner service, a trip to Paris, a trip on Concord, the money you won earlier on, plus the money there, £3,700. Not a bad you. night's work. Excellent. And thank you for all the thank nice you. work, and I'm sure a lot of people will send their gratitude for all the lives you save as no well. Problem. You can do a worthwhile job. Just enjoy the money, all right? <laughs> see you. See you again sometime. Good night, God bless. All right, good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. See ya. Good night.